Okay, in this video we're going to be showing how to tie the two together, the, uh, the InstaFizz uh, ACD file and the InstaFizz HMI. So first and foremost we'll go ahead and open up the ACD file. So as soon as that pulls up, we'll also at the same time start our RS Logics um, emulation chassis. So let me do that too. So it's the fizz. Okay, and we'll start our our emulation. So our uh, RS Logics emulate 5000 chassis. We'll just minimize that, and then we'll come down here and go online and download to that processor. So remember, we're in slot two. And we're running again. We're running emulation, so there's no there's a, no physical hardware here. So there's nothing to really worry about besides you know possibly messing up the software or something of that nature. But uh, I mean, this it's minimal. Okay, so once this uh, gets downloaded and the code is is final, we got it on running and everything. Which it should be linking up now. It's not that big of a program, so. Uh, any day. Okay. It's been taken offline. It has been taken offline because it has three errors. So let's find out what the errors are. And we will see them. Of course, I didn't see them the first pass. Warnings, 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 warnings. Warnings. Okay, error cannot communicate with RS links. Huh. Okay, so. That was most likely something to do with the, yes, that's something to do with the processor. So what we'll do is we'll come in and remove it. And we'll come in and create another one. No big deal, no harm done. And we're back in business. Okay, so that should populate now. Let's go to RS Who and then download. So sometimes you'll have that happen. You'll have that happen on like a if you're doing this quite frequently. So at this point, we want to go into Remote Run. And that means their processor is running. So we'll minimize this and we'll go to Factory Talk Studio. We'll open our uh, View Site Edition, which is our network distributed. And when this opens, we want to make sure we, uh, we select the InstaFizz program. So we selected the InstaFizz that we made on the prior vid video. And, you know, like I said, we uh, we had to reboot, so everything should be good. Okay, so at this point, as a real quick test, what you can do to make sure everything is tied together right, is you can open up a screen like a, any screen and just run it to see if everything's flowing good so uh, that means all the tags are, are correct and everything's good so if you remember we we came up here and we we addressed everything properly um, now at this point what we want to do is is launch a client so we'll make a new one and we'll say uh, it's the fizz. Uh, 
quiet. And I always seem to put that N in there capitalized. So, so uh, right now we have InstaPiz client, and then we want to choose our HMI server, which is the InstaPiz. Let's back up real quick. Let's let's throw the language and the proper language is, is should be in English. So we want to come in here and select our where our HMI server lives, which is in the HMI area. Uh, we do not have an initial screen. We do have client keys and we do have the startup. This is a startup macro that starts up the HMI. Uh, you can have the diagnostic screen. I choose not to. Make sure your screen's maximum. And uh, basically cut everything off besides uh, um, navigation tracking and uh, maximum screen. So we'll start it. So at this point, uh, the client that is being developed is being started. And everything is actually running. So everything is, is tied in and doing what it's supposed to be doing. Of course, we have a couple tags that, that don't seem to be uh, lined up. But what we can do is, is make sure we get those lined up. But for the most part, um, everything is starting to uh, take shape. So let's exit out of this. And the exit is not working. Okay, so we'll exit out of that. And we'll come back and uh, make sure we have everything set properly. Which we do. Okay, so that should be fine. Uh, verify. And go back to plant floor. And everything is running here, so that tells me that it's good. And let's see. Let's, see, let's go here. Okay, so everything seems to be running on that. Now, if we go to run our clients. Okay, now it, start, it should be starting up in just a second. Okay, so everything is talking. Um, Got to running. Um, every, everything is, is doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing. You can pull up the face plates and see how, how things are working. Um, basically, if there's any alarms or stuff like that. Um, the rapid mixing, uh, filling, looks like it's doing its job. We can actually stop it and uh, gray change to, to like uh, grape and start it back. So uh, maybe that was a little too quick. Push to stop. Gray change. Okay, so maybe it, it does not want to grade change for some reason. Uh, either way, uh, we have our system working 
and doing it. Well, that's probably why, because it was, it was doing it in another process. Uh, the labeler and all, you know, running. Um, so we have all our, our tags and everything working now. So I was getting that. Um, you can see the, the HMI servers, who's running. You can see that we have an active partner or we have an active primary. We do not have a secondary, so that's part of the reason there. Uh, rapid mix is stop, push to start. Okay. So we should be able to rapid mix process. Yep. Okay. Um, and all in all, that, that's basically the gist of that. Um, how to simulate the InstaFizz program. So how to make the a ACD file, how to make the HMI file, how to restore everything how to make a client and then also how to run the client and then if you had any trouble you could go in and look at the code uh, just kind of play with the code see what you wanted to do um, and we may go through this a little bit later in another video but um, just to kind of show you what you know how it works together so um, again I just wanted to show uh, from start to scratch the uh, InstaFizz setup uh, with the, on an emulator and not using any kind of hard, hardware so you can basically do whatever you need to um, and again if you'd like to see anything else or any have any other ideas you'd like to see um, just go ahead and leave me a comment below I also have my contacts in the show note below so you can contact me via email or some, something of that nature and uh, again I appreciate your time and hopefully this was helpful thank you